Hi and welcome. We just got in a package from our friends over at Artistro and we're going to show you a closer look at their brush paint pens. So this is how they arrive. The box is very high quality, so if you like to take your pens with you on the go, this box is going to keep them nice and protected. This is their mixed set of premium opaque colors and metallics. And here's the tip. It's made from nylon and that's going to give you the ability to draw fine lines and bold strokes. And we'll show you how they look on a light surface and then also on a dark surface too. I'll start with the metallics first. So the metallics are very opaque. This set comes with eight metallics, so you're going to get gold, silver, red, blue, bronze, green, purple, and black. And these are looking absolutely great. So you can see the nice sheen of the metallics on the white there. And now let's get them onto the dark surface. And I can already tell that they're going to look amazing. These are good to use for so many things. You can use them for creating signs, they'll write on pretty much any surface, like rock painting if you're into rock painting, glass and wood, um, if you're an artist you can use them on artist canvas, and fabric too. And if you're into hand lettering, the tips do allow for fine lines and then the bolder lines that hand lettering is known for on the downward strokes, so they do that without a problem. So if you love to doodle and draw onto a black surface, I think you'll find the metallics are really easy to work with. Okay, and let's give you a look at the basic colors. So the basics come with orange, white, red, blue, yellow, green, brown, and black. I'm having a lot of fun here. The pigment is really good quality. We get in a lot of markers to try out from brands and these ones are probably some of the best I've used. There's a really good flow coming out and the colors are laying down very nicely. And just so that you know, when you're using the basic colors on a dark surface, they'll turn more opaque as they dry. I'll do a little doodle here, and by the way, I'm using cardstock for this one. And you can see on the back, there's very little ghosting on cardstock. This is just a regular 160 GSM. And do keep in mind if you're wanting to use these in your journals or planners, you might want to make sure that you're using at least 160 GSM paper journal or higher to avoid ghosting in your notebooks. We hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.